This video is brought to you by the Fractal Design Integra M series of power supplies. Semi-modular, 80 plus bronze rated, and just 140 millimeters long. Check the link in the description for more information. Excellent! 2014 was supposed to be the year that 4K went mainstream, so let's see a show of hands. Who out there has a 4K monitor or TV? Okay, so I see you. That's kind of what I thought. So for most of you who did not raise your hand, particularly if pricing has been a 4K deterrent, I present the new Monoprice 4K 60Hz 28-inch monitor, aka product number 12156. Link is in the description below, placed tantalizingly close to the like button. When considering a monitor, there are several elements that are important, but to me the most important one is the panel itself, which you'll be staring at constantly, so let's start there. This is essentially the exact same Samsung manufactured 28-inch TN panel that you would find in the Samsung UD590, and it provides an incredibly sharp 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD image. This is an 8-bit per pixel panel, which does improve color depth despite it being TN. Color reproduction is boosted to 1.07 billion colors, which is more in line with a 10-bit panel. Samsung has used frame rate control to simulate more colors, which is okay with me. Just don't confuse this for like an IPS or an IZGO panel that was made for content creation. Contrast ratio is also adequate but not spectacular at 1000 to 1. While I love me some good color reproduction, this is a budget 4K monitor, so I wasn't expecting it to cover the whole sRGB color gamut. It's really better suited for gaming and media playback, day-to-day -day computing, that sort of thing. On the plus side, TN panels are very fast, hence this panel's one millisecond gray-to-gray -gray response time, and viewing angles top out at 170 degrees. Let's move on to all the stuff around the panel, starting with the glossy finish directly in front of it. You can probably see it right now. I'm not a fan, to be honest, but that's just me. I know there's people out there who swear by glossy monitors. I just happen to prefer matte. Monoprice, if you're listening, please make a matte finish version of this monitor. It would be awesome. There's about a 5 eighths of an inch black bezel surrounding the outer edge, and at the bottom there's a bit of fanciness in the black brushed aluminum strip with the centered Monoprice logo, as well as the power on standby LED that's on the left. This LED is yellow for standby and blue for power on. It's not overly bright or distracting, so that's a good thing. I love this monitor's stand because it focuses on function first, and it blows the UD590 stand out of the water, even more so because it uses a 100 by 100 VESA mount, that's a standard so you could even remove it for wall mounting if you wanted. The UD590, on the other hand, committed the cardinal sin for me for monitor stands by having a crappy one, first of all, with only tilt control and not having a vase mount, so you couldn't do anything about the crappy monitor stand. The Monoprice stand has all four adjustment functions, height, tilt, about 280 degrees of swivel, and even glorious pivot for portrait mode. For controls, we have buttons. Thank you, Monoprice, for putting actual buttons, not annoying touch pads or even the silly control knob on the UD590, which works but still makes things like changing your input unnecessarily time consuming. Here, we can quickly jump to the input select screen, adjust audio, color, language, and on screen display settings in the full menu, or turn on the picture in picture or picture by picture modes to multitask. I used it to configure a BIOS on one system while setting up benchmark runs on the other but that's just me, you could plug an Xbox in or something like that. For video inputs, there's two DisplayPort 1.2 connectors, which are the only ones you should use if you want 4K at 60 Hertz. There are also a couple HDMI 1.4As that also have MHL functionality, if you're into that sort of thing. They can do 4K at 30 Hertz, and finally you get a dual link DVI that can do 2560 by 1600, which I thought was nice to include, even though it can't push 4K. Finally, there's a line in for the two 2 watt speakers, and of course, AC power input. The accessory bundle includes the stand and screws, AC power adapter, 8th inch audio cable, and a dual link DVI cable. At first I was like, whoa, that kind of sucks. Where on earth might I find a reasonably priced DisplayPort cable for my 4K resolution? Oh yeah, Monoprice. Anyway, I'm told that starting in about a month, they're actually going to be including a DisplayPort cable in the box. Just for now, be sure to add one to your cart if needed. Monoprice has them for very cheap. So now for a conclusion, and let's get the cons out of the way first. There are some natural drawbacks to a TN panel, so Color depth and viewing angle are not this monitor's strong points. Again, not a huge deal for gaming, but content creators might want to look elsewhere. I already noted my personal distaste for the glossy finish, but maybe for some of you that's a pro rather than a con. Also, some cable management built into the stand would have really made it perfect. 
but that's really a minor quibble. One last thing to mention is that a 28 inch 3840 by 2160 display will result in some teeny tiny icons and text when you first get it set up. But I found that sitting close to the monitor was just fine due to the high resolution and adjusting your UI scale and your operating system is a pretty easy fix for that. My pros list is short, but these are the key factors for buying a new monitor. So the panel is crisp, clear, and beautiful. The monitor supports 4K natively at 60 Hertz via DisplayPort, and the stand does everything that a stand should do. All that, and it's still cheaper than the UD590, and we're approaching the holiday season, so maybe we'll see pricing come down even further. That'd be super sweet. So I would love to hear what you guys think of this monitor and if monitors like this are moving you slowly closer to taking that 4K plunge. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. Don't forget to like and share because it helps me out a ton. We'll see you all next time.